Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 7th of December. It's cold today. It's going to be cold tomorrow. How about a few snowflakes tomorrow morning? Any part of Alabama with that chance? And eh, Don't get your hopes up. Let's uh, take a look out the window. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa, looking east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse, a cloudless sky on a cold early December day. Like that shot there, that's coming from Hamilton up in northwest Alabama, looking back off to the west, sun going down. And from Demopolis, that winter sunset right over the Tom Bigby River is seen from the Demopolis Civic Center, and again, not a cloud in the sky. The trough is over the east. Note that strong Vortmax coming down through parts of the southern plains. You can see that bend in the height lines over the Texas Panhandle, and that will be impacting Alabama tomorrow morning and really late tonight. Temperatures, second day in a row. Looks like a lot of folks north of Birmingham will not see 40. Coleman, 37. Gadsden, 39. Birmingham, 44. Tuscaloosa, 46. We think tomorrow will be colder than today as colder air drops south in the wake of that uh, Vortmax. And around the nation, again, it's hard to find any really warm air. Uh, up north, temperatures are in the single digits. Uh, down here, 30s and 40s. Uh, maybe uh, Phoenix and the deserts, San Diego, places like that. You got some 70s, but again, it is very cold over much of the country, but relatively dry. There's our watch warning map, and again, not that much on the board. Uh, the the main issue, the lake effect snows continuing on the lee of the lakes, and other than that, a few scattered snow issues, but uh, nothing of a serious nature. Hey, look at that. That's a really nice uh, Vortmax coming down. You can see the visible satellite shot. That's really gorgeous. Uh, rain falling. Over parts of Oklahoma, a bit of snow in the north end of that over Kansas, and that's moving southeast. And so the bulk of that will really be missing us to the south. But having said that, there will be a lot of lift in the atmosphere uh, tomorrow morning. Just no moisture. I mean, hardly any. So uh, somebody somewhere might see a flake or two, but again, don't get your hopes up. Actually, the better chance of getting flurries will probably be south of Montgomery. There's the overall precipitation around the nation for the next five days, and you can see that we've got uh, amounts of Almost uh, one inch now for the Tennessee Valley. Numbers are coming up. Amounts down this way about uh, three quarters of an inch now as the models continue to be a little more aggressive with the system Saturday and Saturday night. And we'll see how that works out. By golly, I'm telling you, the latest guidance suggesting maybe even a thunderstorm with that feature. Let's look at the uh, 12Z GFS. This is uh, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. And you can see that strong energy diving down through southwest Alabama and south Mississippi. And, uh, again, no moisture means no rain here, no snow. Uh, the model showing some uh, rain down in the Gulf. And, again, that thing might squeeze out a snow flurry somewhere, but uh, no big issue. And the better chance probably south of US 80 or south of Montgomery. Uh, Thursday, it'll be a very cold morning uh, with lows around 20. Uh, we should begin to warm up Thursday afternoon, the high in the upper 40s. And then Friday... Hey, we're talking mid-50s. That'll be like a uh, heat wave coming in here with a good supply of sunshine. All right, let's check it out. This is uh, Saturday as we start the weekend. Strong energy again to the west of the state. You can see that digging down through uh, Kansas and Oklahoma. And down below that, a deep surface, a deepening surface slope begins to form near Tulsa. Rain breaks out during the day west of the state. More than likely, that moves in here at some point Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. We'll go to Saturday night at midnight. Look at the trough forming to the west. Very dynamic. Down below that, the surface low is under 1,000 millibars near Cape Girardeau, Missouri, with uh, rain extending down into Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama. You can see why we're talking potential for thunder here. I, I think you almost have to mention some chance of thunderstorms. Nothing severe with no instability, but again, uh, it looks like there could be some thunder in spots Saturday night, and certainly with the more aggressive Look, we're seeing here that could mean rainfall amounts of over one half inch. We'll take that. And then Sunday, boom. Goodness, we go back in the deep freeze. Look at the trough amplifying. The uh, surface low is occluding over Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, the rain is off to the east, and the cold air will have wraparound clouds. And yeah, chance of snow flurries on Sunday. It'll be a cold, raw day. Uh, temperatures will probably drop on into the 30s during the day, if this is right. And then uh, Monday of next week just looks cold. Are you kidding me? Look at the isobars perpendicular to the height lines. That is cold air advection. 
The latest GFS with a high of 36 on Monday. Goodness gracious. You factor in that north wind, it's going to feel like 26 all day. And then by Tuesday, that'll be the coldest morning. Uh, lows probably 17 to 22. You know, we had temperatures as cold as 13 in Alabama this morning. So understand these valleys can really radiate down there, but that's going to be the coldest morning. We'll start to moderate a little bit Tuesday afternoon, not much. Uh, high probably in the low 40s, and then uh, beyond that, things look warmer. All right, let's check the end of the forecast. December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve. And, uh, you know, this is voodoo country, which means there's no specific skill and a, f a specific forecast. We're just looking for trends. And quite frankly, we don't have a lot of trends to show you because every run has been looking different. The last couple of runs looking cool, but not really cold. As you can see, there's a, uh, what, 1,032 millibar high nosing in from the north. That would be, you know, a pretty cold day, but nothing like the cold air we have now. But I guarantee you that's going to change again and again as we get closer to Christmas. We just don't know now if it's going to be cold at Christmas or not. We'll know. Give us about a week, and we'll start to feel like we can make a specific forecast out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.